This morning, the Newport News mayor and police chief joined a panel discussion about gun violence in the area. Organizers say they want to find out what leads someone to pull a trigger and the best way to keep it from happening again. News 3 anchor Anthony Sabella was there. I'm here in the East End section of Newport News, where just last weekend, a few blocks away from where I'm standing, there was a vigil for a young mother shot and killed during what police are calling a domestic dispute. Another case of gun violence happening in one of our local communities. But people aren't giving up hope. Behind me here is a church, and the folks inside say they are determined to come up with solutions. You know, we want to be a force for good. Reverend John Myers speaking outside Greater Walters AME Zion Church in Newport News Saturday morning. Inside, feet away from the altar, about two dozen were gathered for a discussion about gun violence, why it happens, and how to make neighborhoods safer. In attendance, activists, clergy, and law enforcement, including Newport News Police Chief Steve Drew. Myers is a minister for the United Church of Christ's Eastern Virginia Association, which organized this panel with the African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church. He says he was in inspired to have meetings like this following the November mass shooting 25 miles away inside a Chesapeake Walmart. He's hoping bringing together experts in different fields and multiple perspectives will be the key to finding a solution to gun violence. So we've been having monthly meetings, trying to strategize, put together plans. We can bring the whole community together. We think we can make some kind of leeway into you know, reducing gun violence in our communities. The first speaker Saturday was Reverend Dr. Eric McCaskill of the organization Police and Concerned Citizens Together, or PACT. He talked about the potential for issues at home to lead to violence outside the home. This was the third gun violence panel like this. Meyer says the first was in Norfolk, the second in Greensboro, North Carolina, and the next potentially in Virginia Beach, though plans aren't solidified. In Newport News, Anthony Sabella, News 3.